Hello, I'm Lily Cole and I'm going to read you a bit of my book, Who Cares Wins? Reasons for Optimism in a Changing World. If you dare to care, it's a head fuck. The problem is complex and the solutions often contradictory. One day biofuels are heralded as our saviour. Another day they are driving deforestation in Indonesia. Some say we should stop eating all meat. Others say a small amount of holistic animal agriculture is actually part of the solution. The aeroplane is the poster child of destruction, yet few people know it's often more energy efficient to fly than drive solo. It's hard to know which plastics are recyclable, harder still to know their afterlife when we put them in green bins. How much do we need individual change? How much system change? Where does one end and the other begin? How powerful are we? How responsible are we? Sometimes it feels like you can't even breathe without stealing oxygen. I've lived an unusual and lucky life, which has brought me diverse experiences and eclectic friends. It's a strange recipe producing, no doubt, a strange cake. But I feel grateful for the broad perspective life has given me, bridging many different realities. At a time of heightened sensitization and polarization, when talking and listening to each other feels more important than ever, I hope in this book to bring together some of the disparate voices and experiences which I have been fortunate to have had access to. In every topic this book touches on, a cacophony of well-meaning divergent perspectives springs alive. I have intentionally explored these, trying to retain an open mind, even and especially when they contradict each other. Occasionally an opinion of mine might sneak in, but I try to avoid or challenge them because I'm not interested in ideological fights or claims to right and wrong. I'm interested in building bridges, in engaged, proactive optimism. Why bother with optimism? Well, firstly, being optimistic makes you happier and is more likely to inspire joy in the people around you. Whereas pessimism can breed apathy, inaction and fatalism, if you believe the ship is sinking, you're not going to bother fixing the hull. Optimism can inspire action and change. We will only radically innovate or even bother to sign petitions if we believe the future can be saved. Optimism leads to positive behaviour change, which can make it a self-fulfilling prophecy. An example is health. Optimists have been found to be less, sorry, optimists have been found to be more likely to exercise and follow medical advice and less likely to smoke. According to a Harvard study, an optimistic outlook early in life can increase life expectancy by 15 to 40 years. So what would happen if we applied optimism to our social and political and environmental realities? Could we write better prophecies to fulfill?